First of all, uh, congrats on the win. Uh, how Thank how did you did you, did you score the fight? Um, I thought I had uh, two two rounds, m maybe two to one, maybe all three rounds. Um, if I don't recall, I think I I I think I had all three rounds, maybe maybe two to one for me. Were you were you surprised at all with the defense he did in the fight that is different than what you expected? Yeah, his, his kicks are very strong, man. Very, very strong. I, well, I wasn't. I was. I knew, but I, I was still surprised how how strong his his kicks are. Um, I think I'm surprised with my ribs. They held up pretty well too. Um, but yeah, um, and he, you know, I, I kind of knew his style and his characteristics, his physical characteristics. Cause, you know, very compact, very strong, uh, moves well from. But, you know, from a good experienced uh, school and uh, from a good background in Muay Thai, so I wasn't I wasn't surprised, but um, you know, it was definitely a little bit different than what I thought. You've been talking about a title bid uh, for a while, and you did say before this fight that you expected it to get you pretty close to there. Was that a win that you think has solidified that case for you? There was not a finish, a submission, or a knockout. Unfortunately, again, we were throwing to finish the fight. If you know, they were whatever the crowd saw. Sometimes they're not as happy. I don't know. I mean, if you, you can, you're more than welcome, whoever, to get in there and, and see how he feels. <laughs> with, with all due respect, but uh, we, we were throwing to to finish the fight. Sometimes it doesn't happen. The, you know, we all we all we have that. Um, we are both counter strikers, very similar stature. Um, in, in, you know, in our, you know, our bodies, you know, uh, bodies, uh, you know, structure, and uh, we couldn't finish each other. But um, I think, I think, looking at my record, and looking at the whole, at the whole picture, look at who I've beat right now. You know, I can be as humble as I can be, but you know, all the accumulation of the only fight I've lost uh, since UFC, UFC 200, I lost UFC 200. Um, was my only loss since 2009, if I'm not mistaken, and that was a loss to TJ Dillashaw in a decision. I was not ready for that fight. No excuse. TJ is a good guy, a great fighter. I had just, it was my first fight back from ankle surgery. You know, they, they offered me the number one guy. I was like, sure, you know, why not? You know, he was a number one. He still is a number one guy. Uh, and I took the fight, and it didn't go my way. But other than that fight, I haven't lost. I haven't lost at bantamweight. You know, I think I paved my way to the to the title shot. And not to mention, um, the division is kind of. I don't know what's going on. What with, with TJ is dropping down, and and, and Cody is hurt right now. Um, Dominic Cruz has his own time frame calendar with the UFC. So who was the next? Who's the next guy? Can you talk a little bit? You were you were talking before about Dominic and how you felt that maybe he was he was running the division essentially. Is that how you feel that he's like maybe they're obeying his timing a little bit too much? No, no, I don't think he was running the division or obeying his timing. I just think that he's in a position right now that he can. Um, what's the right word? He can. Oh. Yeah, he kind of dictate his own timing, which I think is not is not right. You know, if you work for the UFC, whoever they they tell you to to fight, that's who that's how I always approach. You know, like I like I just mentioned, I'm coming off ankle. I've got 10, 10 screws on my leg. Hey, you fighting TJ when you first fight back? Sure, okay. You know, I'm ready to fight. Let let's do it. And and I just feel Dominic is kind of dictating his own calendar right now. I don't think that's 100% uh, correct. Great guy. He just gave me the thumbs up, cage side. Um, he's a good friend of Brian Stan, which is a very good buddy of mine from Atlanta. But um, I think I'm the next guy to chance for the title. You know, a nice guy. Let's get a nice guy to challenge. You are eight and one as a bantamweight. Uh, someone, some, someone with a record like that, should be a, maybe a, a guy. Well, you, you, you probably no no discussion that you would deserve a title shot, but, but what, why do you think that's just the way that you have to convince people that you... Yeah, they, apparently I have to convince people and make, and make a statement 
I don't know how, you know, because my, my fights, I don't care. What, you, you guys know, I mean, the fans, reporters, the whole MMA world, you guys know how difficult these fights are. I mean, you look at uh, tonight, you know, I mean, some of the favorite guys, unfortunately, didn't do very good, man. And, and I'm fighting newcomers, I'm fighting, you know, hype guys. I was the underdog on this fight. I'm fighting younger guys coming from a huge win streak, and I'm stopping those guys. Marlon Moraes just stopped Marlon from a five, five year non law, non, non, you know, five years since he lost, 13 fight winning streak, you know, a great a knockout artist. Um, I stopped the guy again. So what, what, what else do do I have to do? And as I mentioned on the on the previous Portuguese interview, maybe I need to start uh, doing like uh, some acting school or something, you know, to. Do you think it's, the, it's maybe the lack of finishes or it's actually this, uh, the way you act outside of the octagon that is stopping you from being in touch? I'm not sure if it's the lack of finishes or if it's how I act outside. The lack of finishes is just is a result of, of my fatty style, you know. Um, like I say, I, I'm throwing to finish, you know. I, I'm throwing I'm throwing bombs to finish, and the guys that I'm fighting are, are, are also um, throwing throwing to finish me, you know. If 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 you don't, if you're not, you know, if you're not 100% focused, you get knocked out, you know. Like I thought, I landed like two of right hands on him. I thought he was rocked, and I couldn't. But I, you know, I didn't want to anticipate myself and he caught one of his own shots. Um, and uh, but you know, I just feel, I'm, you know, I feel that I'm still learning as a as a martial artist. As, as a martial artist, I feel that um, I'm still progressing and I have a lot to learn, and that's good for me. When I feel that I still have a lot to learn, that's good for me. It's gonna keep me humble. It's gonna keep me training and learning, and 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 and, and build, build up upon, you know. You mentioned you were the underdog coming into this one, and that Marlon was sort of like carrying the hype. Is that is, does that make the win more special? Do you, you know, maybe yeah. cherish it more because you're probably proving some people? He wrong? makes it more special. He has more. He's more uh, of a of a of a striker than I am. He's more well-rounded striker guy than I am. Um, and I feel it's a great accomplishment, you know, the guy is he's, you know, he's one of uh, the protégés, you know, of, of the Muay Thai here in Brazil, in the world, you know. Um, and uh, I was able to stop him again. Um, yet, I was able to stop yet another, uh, another uh, great prospect. I'm happy. Do you think he's going to have a good future in the UFC? I think he's going to have a good future. You guys watch for him. Yeah, every fight a guy, every guy I fight in the UFC, that I don't finish. Afterwards, these guys build the build a crazy win streak. So you guys watch for him and, Pedro, and then. Pedro Muiz, for instance, right? He's one of those guys. Pedro Muiz, one of the guys. Sterling right now, just he's fighting Baron. Anyhow, I'm not gonna mention names, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you guys look at the guys that I've that I've that I've fought. And a lot of them are high level guys. You the know? UFC was was very high on Marmolais. Do you think that matching him up against you was a bad call by the UFC if they were trying to build him up? I don't know. They they gave me Marlon Moraes and that's who that's who they sent me a contract, that's who I signed for. I don't know. We had uh, all the guys that were uh, that were they I had all the all the names they mentioned and then and Marlon was the final Model was the final uh, guy that uh, they decided, and that's who I fight. And the guy was a friend, you know, two Brazilians fighting in Brazil. I don't know what the intentions are. I don't care, you know, and that's that's that that was it. Before the fight, you mentioned Jimmy Rivera uh, and he's fighting Thomas Almeida now. Do you expect to, to get him next? If you no, no. You don't, you don't uh, I think I've built well, a lot more of a path than Jimmy Rivera right now. Yeah. You mentioned your rib a little bit. Say Do you have a, a, a timeline or an idea for when you'll be able to? Vou nessa, meu irmão. Tô aí, tá com chata, tá doendo. Desculpa. Sorry. Since we're on the rib subject. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I gotta go ice my ribs right now. Yeah, but you're just the way you're gonna have to assess how you're feeling before you make any plans, or do you have any idea? Yeah, I'm gonna assess. I, I take two weeks off from there, but no, no, no broken bones. Thank God, no, no torn anything. So um, we just a quick assessment. I'm getting home. Yeah. 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 Yeah.